The world is full of substances, of course it is. For example, glue, one of my favorites. But there are some substances that are so peculiar, we just had to talk about them. These are the 20 most unusual substances in the world. Number 20. Magnetic Thinking Putty Doesn't that just sound weird right off the bat? Magnetic thinking putty? That sounds almost like they put three very random words together in order to try and sell a toy. And make no mistake, the first substance is indeed a toy, but one that's gotten a lot of people's attention for one reason or another. Having something like silly putty is fine in and of itself, but the reason magnetic thinking putty is so special, it does bounce, all right? is that it has iron oxide particles imbued in it. Why does that matter? Well, because it adds a very special twist to it via what happens when a magnet gets close. When magnets are within range of the influence of its magnetic field, the putty will slowly swallow them. Because the magnetic field of the putty is strongest at the center of the blob, the magnets then become engulfed. The putty slowly sucks magnets in until they reach the strongest point of the field. Now that is rather unusual, but for the right reasons to to be clear, because this almost makes it seem like the magnetic thinking putty is alive as it literally engulfs an item that just so happens to be close by. Granted, it can't do this with all items, thank goodness, but it is something remarkable to behold. And while some will simply state that it's weird that it can happen, it honestly is just basic science, and that might be what makes it so intriguing. You honestly have to wonder what other unusual substances like the magnetic thinking putty can be made of just by adding a little extra science to it. In theory, the possibilities are endless. But seriously, how freaky does it look when it's swallowing the magnet? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Hydrochloric acid is, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most dangerous acids in the world. Most of us know that, but it's also one of the most unusual substances on God's green earth. This water-based substance is the main component of gastric acid, which is in your stomach. Yet this stuff is capable of burning holes in spoons, but it's inside of you. Incredible! As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Gallium. Now let's talk about a substance that's a little more basic, and by that I mean that it's a regular material that you can find in certain parts of the earth. It's called gallium. Gallium is a metal and a special one at that, but with a few twists that make it something both unusual and creative if it's used properly. The main selling point of gallium is that it's a metal that will seem as solid as other metals, but if you were to hold it in your hand, you could potentially melt it without a whole lot of effort. Because the reaction can be exothermic and we want to dissipate the heat in the water. So, have your hands suddenly become blessed with the heat of a burning star? Well, no. Rather, the gallium is a metal that has a very low melting point, to the extent that if you were to hold it in your hand just right, your own body temperature could actually make it melt. That's pretty unusual, considering that most metals appear unbreakable at first, and you may think that this low melting point would hinder what we could use it for, but you'd be wrong. There are all sorts of applications for it that are already in use. Gallium is present in power converters for electrified cars, and it forms the backbone of modern radio communication technologies like 5G. It helps to increase the speed and performance of bleeding-edge microprocessors and is key for high performance of photovoltaic cells on satellites along with other extraterrestrial applications. But what does it all prove? Well, simply, just because the substance is unusual and has a trait that's atypical of metals, it doesn't mean that it can't serve a purpose. Number 18. 
Sulfur Hexafluoride Now we'll talk about an all-time classic party trick. Helium is a substance that's well known to people because it's used to help balloons float in the air. And equally as important, it can make your voice sound a lot higher if you inhale it. Okay, that's okay. all. Oh, it sounds like one of those voice recorder things. Oh my gosh. The reason for this is that our lungs are full of oxygen, and helium is lighter than oxygen, and so if you breathe it in, your lungs will expel it in such a way that it makes the sound like a cartoon mouse. But have you ever wondered whether a gas on the opposite spectrum could have a similar effect? Well, indeed it can, and sulfur hexafluoride is one such gas. It's a substance that is many times heavier than air, and as a result of that, it can do a couple of cool tricks, as proven by Mythbusters and other shows, in case you were curious. The first one is that if you were to put sulfur hexafluoride in a fish tank and then make a boat out of aluminum foil or even put a basic balloon on its surface, it would float on an invisible sea. That's very cool as a visual, no doubt. Hey, don't waste it. All right, here you go. Now talk. <laughs> but the kicker here is that if you inhale it, your voice will become basically demonic. Your octaves will drop in such a manner that you wouldn't expect, and as a result, you'll sound a whole lot more funny. And it's all because of the gas in your lungs, which will leave them at a slower rate, and thus your voice will be heavier. Now, here's the thing, as Mythbusters notes and other shows sadly don't, your body is not exactly meant to have sulfur, hexafluoride, or even helium in its system. So while this is a funny party trick, you should only do it once, and then make sure you get that precious oxygen back into your body. You can seriously die if you get too much of this stuff inside of you. And dying, well, that would be pretty bad. Number 17, Nitinol. Yes, it is pronounced nitinol. I didn't name it. It's not my fault that it sounds different than it looks. The principle behind nitinol, though, is actually one that you should be familiar with, because it's a substance that's able to go to a certain shape if put under a certain temperature. Or in other words, it's a memory material, and a useful one at that. <laughs> If you recall Batman's cape from the Dark Knight trilogy, well, it's the same principle, but not the same material. It's become very important for designers of robotics and medical equipment over the past several decades because it's a super elastic, 10 times flexible as other metals, and thermal shape memory properties are unlike any other material that are available for engineering and product development. That means that while it is unusual, it's actually pretty useful as well, and that's what people are looking for most of the time. Because of its transformational properties, it's the ideal tool when you need to get something into a small space and then have it expand once it's inside. You can literally put in a pill-sized thing of nitinol, and then once it's inside, you can heat it up a little, and it'll go into the shape that you need to do the job. Again, pretty useful. Granted, it's not the most perfect material, and there are some catches with working with it, but if you play your cards the right way, it can be a highly versatile material that's well appreciated in making things. Number 16. Hydrophobic Materials There was a time in our precious world when trying to keep things from being wet was just as impossible outside of not having the water touch something. A simple method, but not always the most feasible. Then we began to realize that in the right amounts and the right building practices, we could make materials that are what is known as hydrophobic, or something that's able to repel water without a whole lot of effort. The fabrication of these materials can be carried out in two main ways. By depositing molecules on surfaces or modification of surface chemistry. The results work out in the same way. The only question is, which is better suited for the material at hand? And as you might have guessed, in today's world of not just electronics, but materials where getting water damage is a very bad thing, a lot of companies are trying to make their products as hydrophobic as possible. For example, while there are plenty of pipes that need water in order to function, there 
are ones that need to repel water in order to ensure that they don't get rusted and cause damage later on. The idea of various electronic devices, or at the very least the cases that contain the electronics, having the ability to repel water from ever getting close to the fragile components, that's a very desirable thing. And in theory, you could apply such things to all sorts of products and see how they work, so thus it's fair to say that you might be seeing a whole lot more hydrophobic materials in the years to come. Number 15. Artificial Spider Silk Nature has surprised humanity in more ways than one over the years, and that includes showing that what some animals can do naturally is beat what humans can only hope to do with their manufacturing. Would you care for an example? Well, you only have to look at spider silk. Yes, the silk that spiders use to make their webs and other things is, by your eyes, both thin and fragile, but if you were to literally weave it all together, you'd find something that's quite literally stronger than steel and tougher than Kevlar. These aren't just boasts, they've been proven by scientists and even shows like Mythbusters Jr. before. Spider silk is actually pretty strong. As a result of that and the fact that it's biodegradable, people have been looking into the substance and trying to find ways to make it usable across many different fields. This includes, but is not limited to, military armor, bandages for patients, and a whole lot more. And if you're guessing that there's a problem with this, you'd be right. Because while we know that spider silk is incredibly strong, getting enough of it to fit our needs isn't the easiest thing around. That's a lot of spiders doing non-stop silk work, and they've actually got better things to do. So thus, humanity has been working on making their own artificial spider silk, and they've come close to matching what's done naturally. The University of Cambridge, for example, has made such a silk that's not only a good mimic of the natural, but it's also 98% water. Oh, and if the stuff doesn't work, then we've also made it so that we can inject spider DNA into goats. That's not a joke. And when they make their milk, they'll also be making spider silk. Number 14. Carbon Nanotubes no doubt some of you have absolutely no idea what a carbon nanotube is, so here's a brief description straight from Encyclopedia Britannica. They are nanoscale hollow tubes that are composed of carbon atoms. The cylindrical carbon molecules feature high aspect ratios, length to diameter values, typically above 103, with diameters from about 1 nanometer up to tens of nanometers and lengths up to millimeters. This unique one-dimensional structure and concomitant properties endow carbon nanotubes with special natures rendering them with unlimited potential in nanotechnology associated applications. Applications of CNTs encompass major fields and various disciplines which include nanotechnology, medicine, construction, manufacturing, electronics, peripheral hardware, software, and so on. For more specific examples, you can use these to make actuators, composites with maximum strength, energy storage, as well as energy conversion equipment, media for H2 storage, nanosensors and probes, electronic instruments, and more. While this may sound like a lot of big words and processes, don't lose the message and the madness. This is indeed an unusual substance that is very small, but as you can see, it's also very flexible, and as a result of that, it can be used in a variety of fields as stated. What's more, in the world that we now live in, we need certain strong yet microscopic tools to help complete various tasks, and that's where these carbon nanotubes come into play. You may not realize it, but you could have one of these substances near you right now. Number 13. Plutonium Plutonium would first be discovered in 1941 at a university of all places, but here's where things get strange. Because while this is a natural substance in the world, you can't exactly go around and look for it, expecting to find it just anywhere. It's honestly the exact opposite. There are only trace amounts of plutonium naturally in the world today. But wait, you say? There has to be more of it out there, as I know various countries are using it. 
and you would be correct, because while this unusual substance isn't found naturally in large amounts, we can create it rather easily. And if you look at the various nuclear reactors that are in the world today, they're doing just that with absolute ease. All you have to do is take uranium, which is another very radioactive substance, and then have it absorb a neutron. This is known as spontaneous fission. Naturally, as this is a dangerous substance, if you do get exposed to it, it can kill you in the right dose. But what may surprise you is its uses in other fields. It can be used to power deep space probes and even power pacemakers in very small amounts. Definitely not what you were probably expecting. Number 12. Water. Water is everywhere. Have you ever paused to consider just how crazy it is as a whole? Because one could argue that it's one of the most, if not the most, unusual substances in the world today. But why is that, you may ask? Well, it's because of the forms that it can take and the abilities that it wields depending on circumstance. First and foremost, water is adaptable, and in more ways than you may think. For example, there are multiple kinds of water. Fresh water, salt water, and others that are all based on the environment and what materials are around. Then, of course, there's the classic water can fill any container aspect, which is true. If you put water into a container, it'll fit perfectly without any issues or gaps so long as you put enough of it in. Then, of course, there's various states. You can have water in its liquid form, or you can freeze it to make ice, and then you can heat it up to boil it and evaporate it into water vapor. Just the water cycle alone is unusual, as no other substance has that kind of life. And as some scientists have noted, the water that we have right now is the same from millions of years ago. It's all the same water, and it's just been going through its cycle multiple times. Then, of course, the power of water through things like waves is unmistakable. And we've even used water in machines to cut things like metal. So yes, it is pretty cool. Or... As Bruce Lee once said, be like water. Number 11. Graphene Aerogel Here's another very curious substance, but likely not for the reasons that you're thinking, as this item doesn't act like you would expect. Graphene aerogel is the least dense material on Earth, being so light, in fact, that it's lighter than helium itself. But here's the key thing. It's not a gas, and it doesn't float naturally in the air. Rather, it's a 3D scaffold material, and it's one that has a lot of interesting properties such as high mechanical strength and electrical conductivity, thermal resistance, and absorption capacity. As a result of this, there are plenty of applications for the material, given how it's so lightweight. It has the power of steel in many ways, and yet it's just 0.2% of its weight. Think about that. That's not just light, that's crazy light. Now, if you're still not getting how light it might be, you can apparently pour a gallon of water, and that weight would be equal to 150 bricks of graphene aerogel. But then again, despite how lightweight it is, it's actually strong, able to endure incredible temperatures, and it's used all over the place. One scientist and his team would first discover the graphene aerogels at a university in China, and this was after the scientific community as a whole were trying to figure out how to make such a material ever since 2004. This is very much a marvel of engineering, and one can only imagine what advances that they'll be able to make next. Number 10. D30 Protective Material Now, look, I get it that people who make the stuff get to name the stuff, but can we at least come up with a better name than D30 Protective Material? I'm just saying. Regardless of all that, the idea of protecting something is not exactly new, and in fact all sorts of materials out there have come to try and limit the damage that people take when getting struck by something. And that's where the team at D30 come into play. In 1999, material scientist Richard 
Palmer and Philip Green experimented with a dilatin liquid with non-Newtonian properties. Now, unlike water, it was free-flowing when stationary, but became instantly rigid upon impact. thus making it something that could be flexible when used, but incredibly strong when it's needed to be. A perfect balancing act, if you will. What may surprise you, though, is that this material was first used for sports, as the men behind it were avid skateboarders. And one of the first applications was for ski teams, which makes sense when you think about it, because they've expanded in all sorts of sports gear, as well as making gloves that can resist all kinds of damage and more. Plus, given the versatility of the product, they can make it in all sorts of items that people need to remain safe while also having the freedom to use it in various activities. Number 9. Starlight Starlight is a material that was made by a man named Ward, and he made the bold claim that it could withstand heat at extreme levels. What's more, he proved it time and again, including by being able to take a laser blast with no major damage to the material. As you could imagine, this would be a material that's perfect for things like fire retardants and heat shielding in various crafts, but it never became as big as it actually could have been. But why is that? Well, because Ward was a smart man and knew that if he dealt with the wrong people, his product could be stolen and manufactured under another name, something that is very real. And so, he actually took the secret of Starlight to his grave before a big deal of it could be worked out. One could only wonder what this substance would have done had it been released into the world. Number 8. Diamond Nanotheorts all strange names aside, diamond nanotheards are honestly another wonder of engineering, because many believe that these synthesized entities could be the answer to a problem that people have been trying to fix for decades, being batteries. But what's wrong with batteries? Well, nothing when they work, but as many of you know, they don't always work in the freezing cold, or they could actually explode when they get too hot, and a leaking battery is good for absolutely no one. These diamond nanotheards might just be the answer to those problems, as they'll be able to channel and store energy in such a way that works much better than batteries. Now, to be clear, this is a theoretical guess at the present time, and one would think that a synthesized material like this wouldn't work as well as a battery, but it just might if it's allowed to be tested in good amounts. Number 7. Ferrofluid Ferrofluid is a very interesting liquid that has quite a few ways of blowing people's minds, not the least of which is its magnetic properties. As of right now, there are actually many commercial applications for ferrofluids, speakers and hard drives being the most common. The oily fluid prevents debris from entering hard drives when a small amount is placed between the magnets and the shaft, and in the case of speakers, ferrofluids remove heat from the voice coils and help to dampen the cone's movement. Just as interesting, though, is that while ferrofluid is something that you can buy online, you can also make it yourself at home. You do need to be careful when doing such a thing, but it is possible, and once you have it, you can use it in a whole lot of fun ways. That's probably not what you were expecting, but, you know, that's why they're called unusual substances. Number 6. Triodide Triodide is something that has a lot of different meanings, but we'll focus on the ion element of this one. The triodide ion is the simplest polyiodide. Several higher ones do exist, and in solution it appears yellow in low concentrations and brown at higher ones. This is an ion that's responsible for the well-known blue-black color, which arises when iodine solutions react with starch. Iodide does not react with starch, nor do solutions of iodine in nonpolar solvents. Lugol's iodine contains potassium iodide as well, so that significant amounts of triodide ion can exist in the solution. Tinctures of iodine contain significant amounts of this substance. And after all that, your brain is probably just as melted as mine is. However, something cool and actually interesting about all of this is that in the right capacities, it can explode. I hope that you don't do something rash with all of that knowledge. Number 5. Mystery Foam 
As noted earlier, sometimes nature does prove that it can do things better than man, and that includes making messes at the worst possible time. Such as in China, one time when an outbreak of foam came out from the sewers and filled up a whole junction of a street. The foam was said to have been very pungent, which is definitely not something you want to deal with as you're trying to get to work. So just exactly what was the cause of that foam and why did it rise out of the sewers like it did? Well, no one really knows and that's what makes it a very unusual substance because if there was foam in the sewers, sure, you could make a case that this could happen naturally, but for it to have such an amount that it could cover a whole street, that's another thing entirely. Oh, and to make this even more unusual, it isn't the only time when foam has been found in random places all over the world without an explanation. We still don't know everything about our world just yet. Number 4. Vanta Black now, long story short, this is a coating that's put upon items and is meant to mimic a black hole. No, not that it'll suck everything in, but rather it'll absorb light and thus make it very stealthy. It's so good at what it does, in fact, that if you were to paint it onto an object completely and then shine a light, it'll look 2D and not 3D. That's quite a change in perspective. And believe it or not, a building in South Korea is actually painted with the stuff, and it's literally known as the darkest place on Earth. Number 3. Hydrogel now, you've all had experiences in one form or another with hydrogels, even if you don't know the name by memory. They're items that are suspended between a state of liquid and solid, meaning that though they are solid, they actually have fluidity of liquid. What's more, while they are liquid in certain properties, they still maintain their solid state and don't flow like water or other liquids. What's an example of hydrogel? Well, jello. That's right, jello is a hydrogel. And there are a lot more like them out there. They're used for more than just filling up your appetite, that's for sure. Number 2. Fluoroantimonic Acid Acids in the world are both dangerous and necessary. We use them in food and to help make things for construction, but the real powerful acids are the ones that are the most unusual in some ways, such as with fluoroantimonic acid. This is a super acid, and it's said to be over a billion times stronger than the standard acids of the world. That's a whole lot. And obviously people have to be very careful around the stuff, and only certain materials can hold it because it's incredibly corrosive. Oh, and you can only imagine what would happen if we made an even more powerful acid than this, although I'm sure it's in the works. Number 1. Anatoxin A Now you know that something is bad when it has the word toxin in it without the word anti in front. This substance is actually a cyanotoxin and it's one that has a very cute nickname of very fast death factor. Oh, doesn't that just warm your heart? The toxin is produced by multiple genera of cyanobacteria and has been reported in North America, South America, Central America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Symptoms of this include loss of coordination, muscular fasciculations, convulsions, and death by respiratory paralysis. So yeah, it is a substance that you definitely don't want to come in contact with as it's very likely to actually kill you, and nobody wants that. That's all from the realm of really odd materials that are out there in the world. Were you surprised by how many of these materials or elements are strange enough to warrant a discussion about them, albeit a really intellectually engaging one? And how many of them have you seen up close and personal? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff on the screen, and I'll see you next time.